You's a vegan, but you go in him. Yeah. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Thank you for tuning in to Pretty Brown Vegan, the place for plant-based comfort foods. If you are new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. In today's video, I will be showing you how I make my vegan Korean barbecue cauliflower. If you guys are interested, stay tuned. So to get started, we're gonna go ahead and prepare our broccoli. We're just gonna bring a pot of water to a boil and go ahead and season it generously with some sea salt. Then we're gonna go ahead and boil that broccoli for about two to three minutes. Once the broccoli is ready, we're just gonna drain it, run it under some cool water to stop it from cooking and set it to the side. After that, we're gonna go ahead and prepare our cauliflower. Just go ahead and cut a head of cauliflower, wash it, and put it in a bowl. Then we're gonna top it here with some vegan egg and go ahead and give it a nice toss so that each piece is well coated. Once each piece is well coated, then we're gonna go ahead and just hit it with a little bit of seasoning. Gonna use some sea salt and some good old black pepper. Then we're gonna go ahead and toss it again and make sure that each piece is well coated in that seasoning. Once the seasoning is evenly distributed, then we're gonna go ahead and hit it with some cornmeal, and we're just gonna go ahead and shake it right up in the bowl. You can optionally use a paper bag or a plastic bag, but for me, it's just really easy to just pour it on top and give them a nice toss. Once I toss it, you know, pretty well the first time, I see that I need a little bit more cornmeal on there just to make sure each piece has a nice coating. So I just add a little bit more until I'm satisfied and toss it again. Once each piece is well coated, we're gonna go ahead and get ready to fry them. I am frying these in some grapeseed oil. Be sure not to overcrowd your skillet, so I do go ahead and fry one head of cauliflower in two batches for a skillet of this size. And just to make sure that you cook each piece evenly, some of them are a bit of odd shapes here, so you do have to turn them a couple times and flip them each way to make sure that each side does brown. I do recommend that you fry these a little bit hard if possible. They'll still remain tender on the inside, especially the larger pieces, but if you don't fry them hard enough, when you start tossing them in the sauce, the breading starts to break away. So I just recommend just making sure each piece is nice and crispy. And then just continue to go ahead and monitor them. Keep them frying and making sure that each piece is completely brown and golden. And while you guys are watching me do that, if you guys are enjoying this content so far, feel free to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed so that you don't miss out on future uploads.
Once the cauliflower is ready, we're gonna go ahead and remove them from the heat and place them on a paper towel lined plate. Okay, so to go ahead and get working on our sauce, we do need to go ahead and saute up some green onion. So I just put a little oil in a skillet and toss in some freshly chopped green onions here. And just go ahead and saute those until they soften up. And now we're gonna go ahead and add in our sauce. This is the Korean barbecue sauce from Sky Valley. It is completely gluten-free if that is anything that is of interest to you, if you guys may have a gluten allergy. And we're just gonna go ahead and pour that right in and give it a nice toss so that it does silken out here with the oil that's already heated in the skillet. Once that's well combined, we're gonna go ahead and add our cauliflower back in here and just give it a nice toss. Once that's pretty well coated, then we are gonna go ahead and add back in that broccoli that we made at the start of the video. So this sauce here, um, again, it's a pre-made sauce from Sky Valley. I think it has a little bit of tartness in my opinion. So I just go ahead and cut some of that with a little bit of agave as well. That's completely optional. You guys can taste the sauce and see how you like it. Another option is to go ahead and add in a fresh squeeze of some lemon juice as well. And that cuts out on a little bit of that tartness. But once you guys have all that reheated and tossed together, that's it. It's super easy. Anyone can do this. And it's very, very good, guys. I really enjoy this. I love frying cauliflower and tossing it in all different kind of sauces and it kind of gives me that Asian experience like a Panda Express or something like that. So I really like this guys. I hope you guys enjoy it too. If you do, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks guys.